Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find x. And you notice x is given in these two expressions. One is the one time is in uh, it's a part of the angle BOC, this guy, right? And then we have BAC, which is this guy, right? These two guys are angle. One is what we call a central angle, the red one, and the blue one is called an inscribed angle. And what is cool about these two angles? Okay, the central angle is equal to the measure of an intercept arc. So basically, that's the statement I'm going to write here. The measure of angle BOC equal the measure of arc BC. Okay, so that's the thing I use here. But then I'm looking to the second part, which is talking about an inscribed angle, right? Which is, like I said, BAC. The measure of angles BAC, it's half of the arc BC. That's what it says. If I multiply by two on both sides, what do I get? I get twice the measure of angle BAC equals arc BC. And basically now we have the thing that we can start with, which is what? The measure of angle BOC is twice the measure of angle BAC. Why? Because if you notice, we have the same BC here. Now we can use, let's say, substitution, right? Yes, the central angle, this is the central angle, it's twice the inscribed angle. Remember that. And you can skip all the steps I did there. So basically now we can do substitution for either angle. So BOC is 6x plus 50 equals 2 times BAC, the quantity 4x plus 10. So yeah, now we have an algebraic equation, 6x plus 50 equals 8x plus 20. So we'll subtract 6x here. And I get 50 equals 2x plus 20, subtract 20. And we have 30 equals 2x, divide by 2. And we finish the problem, x equals 15. All right. You can plug this 15 and you, you can get both arcs and see if angle BOC is twice the angle BAC, which it should because that's the equation that we start with. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared for more help. Thank you.